<laughs> Hi! Welcome to the joy of trucking and please remember if you decide to drive for Crete, be so kind and share our referral code SLOWKEV with them. We'd really appreciate it. Alright, now Kevin needs to get this truck loaded because it's time to get back on the road. me again hammer man <laughs> uh, but just just spent a day at home there I had a service job done on the truck and it's bright and early here in Deland Florida and I got a little little run to do up to Ocala and back with a trailer move apparently there's a trailer up there that has to get to the shop so that's my uh, my first run of the week here we are at Odark 100 I'm gonna do a quick uh, pre-trip on the tractor even though it, it did have uh, servicing yesterday and Got our shiny new DOT sticker. I still like to just go around once myself. Just make sure we're good for the road. So let's do that first. Okay, let's go. I thought you were gonna tell the story as to why it's so important that even when you pick something up from the shop, you still want to do your own well, inspection because <laughs> you I know you got stories Kevin we got uh, a couple of incidents that happened when when we had our our personal vehicle in the shop for some work and uh, and we come out drive away and a couple of things weren't weren't finished so I had I had one situation where I had a pickup truck at a tire shop the guy put the tire on I drove away and we got to I don't know, 20 miles away out, out, out in the sticks there down in St. Croix. And I start hearing this thumping, clunking sound, thump, thump, thump. What in the world is going on with my truck? It's shaking and vibrating. So I pulled over and all the bolts had come loose. The, the wheel was just about to fall off. There's only a couple of threads left and, and it, had, it had chewed up the threads on the studs and everything. I would have, I would have had a, a front, front wheel go sailing off into the bush in yeah. another couple of seconds. That was bad. Yeah, that would have been bad. But that's, I'm not, I'm not saying anything against the guys in the shop here. I just like to do my own inspection every morning. It's a habit. Yeah. And uh, the reason you do it is to make sure nothing bad happens once you get out there, right? Yep. doing the trailer because we're gonna drop it we're gonna bobtail yeah, out of here and things can happen overnight oh yeah and I had a situation and I can't it's a while ago so I don't remember which fluid it was but I had my car in the shop and they didn't put the top on I don't remember if it was the radiator or the oil or what but I started driving and uh, yeah the, whichever fluid it was it wasn't the windshield wiper fluid, I know that, but it was a, an important fluid uh, that started spewing out. So, yeah, it's just a habit we've gotten into. But like Kevin said, the dyes here are great. We are not in any way saying that that's the reason. Hey, what you got there? It's some shiny new oil. didn't see the previous video on the 
tell us about bee service? <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they have an inspection list. They check stuff on the truck, like the brake thickness and check all the hoses and airlines and stuff like that and check the tires. And uh, you get an oil change. That's yep. nice. And it happens heavy how many miles? 75,000. First thing we got to do every day is go to our logs and certify the logs. Check the day that you're going to certify to make sure there's no outstanding issues. So you scroll through, scroll through, and then hit certify. If it's correct. If it's correct. What do you do if it's not correct? Sometimes there, um, there'll be something in red or orange that says here's a unlogged event or something like that where you have to go in and make an annotation like explain why it's different like yesterday the mechanic was driving the truck into the shop and back out so it might have shown the truck had moved so it'll say was that you driving the truck and you just say no <laughs> you know but you have to do it to show that it's correct because if you get stopped by a dot officer somewhere later in the day he'll look at your logs say oh what's this strange thing and what's that thing you know you didn't certify like you, you shouldn't be on duty or something like that you're, you're going to be in violation somehow 
And then once that's done, then go on duty. But check your hours. Make sure you got all your hours back that it rested, you know, that you did your 10 hour rest and you got your full clock for the day. Or your 34. <clears throat> and uh, I got my 70 hours because I was shut down for more than 34 hours with this mm -hmm. service uh, call. So now I can go on duty. Inspection. There, we're on the job. Woohoo! Uh, so the next thing to do is go to all my messages. And uh, is this going to be a problem, this light? Yeah, it's very romantic. Ambiance light, honey. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Spoiled the mood? Yeah. Next thing you're going to blow out the candles. Hey, yeah, by the way, I'm coming along on this ride this morning. Pretty excited. I haven't been on the truck in a while. Okay, here's the trip information I gotta write down. With the number. And today's date. And there's a trailer number. 404. Chewy! Chewy.com. That's where we used to order things for our dogs. Yeah, I'm writing down the address where we're picking up and where we're dropping off. I've got a fuel stop. At Loves I seventy five, Loves and uh, a trailer number. So when I get there, I gotta ask for that specific trailer so I can bring it back here. And you send a special message when you pick up the trailer, and then you drop off the trailer, so it shows you've done the trailer move. And it says make sure you check the trailer into the shop before unhooking, so somebody doesn't grab it and take off again. <laughs> So they put a lock on it. Uh, here's our fuel solution. Exit number three, five, eight. So the trailer move, could you explain that? Because this is actually a, a first. Well, I, I've done trailer moves before. So basically, they're like, oh, this warehouse has too many of our trailers and this warehouse doesn't have enough. So please go pick up an empty and bring it over here so they can fill it up and... You know we can move some of their freight so that's just moving trailers around to where they're needed but this one says go pick up this trailer at a at a warehouse and bring it to this shop because i guess it needs work and that's never happened before so a lot of times if there's a defect with a trailer like a flat tire or a burnt light or something you can call road service and they'll send a mechanic out you know if it's parked at a warehouse he'll fix it right there so there must be something seriously wrong with this trailer that, that it has to go to the shop instead. Or they're trying to save money. Maybe the road call is going to be very expensive on this one. Mm -hmm. you know, be I cheaper wonder to what's wrong it with it. Hopefully nothing that would get you in trouble driving it. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but we could create some drama. Hey, should we create drama on the channel, honey? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to punch in my... Uh, destination so I can get the GPS up and running here. Mm -hmm. Broken trailer behind tractor. I could make up all sorts of crazy stories. You've been watching too much reality TV there. <laughs> So where are we going? We're just going from Deland to Ocala. And, uh, Please drive to highlighted route. It's only about 60 miles. It's going to be a short little shaggy run. And we're going to go up through the Ocala Forest. You cut cut right, right through all that beautiful mm. Florida swamp land there. Yeah, that is beautiful. And we'll go through Ocala. Mm, we got a zigzag in a little bit there. And the, the place we're going is right along I-75, just north of the town. Is this thing charging? Yep. So I already looked up the address. I have a pretty good idea how I want to get there. And they're saying do this and this. That's raining. Mm-mm. 
Yes, it's raining. And we're bobtailing. Hey, you got everything secured? Got your coffee? I got it too. Oh, plug this in. That stuff works better with electricity. <laughs> uh, this is good to go. We'll, uh... Shall we swing by the driver's lounge for the facilities before we head out? Oh, uh, okay, if you'd like to walk I over there. I think that's a, a good way to start. You want to drive over there? That's up to you. Well, we do have to make sure the truck runs. <laughs> wow, look at all the pretty lights. Ooh. button to push? That's all I do is push buttons. Oh yeah, you're very good at pushing my button, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> and you had left the fridge on while you were off the truck? Everything still frozen? Did you check it? Uh, no, I checked this. The stuff was still cold in the bottom. Okay. The clock is messed up since the six. It's funny these uh, the settings on the dashboard here. I have to check them every couple of days because they undo themselves. Like for some reason, it goes back to other settings. Like the 24-hour clock becomes 12 hours. The uh, the uh, cruise control tied in with the radar. Like it'll tell you the radar on the front bumper will tell you how fast the guy in front of you is going. It'll actually show his speed, but only if you ask for it. Every now and then, it just shuts itself off. So you got to go in and check all your settings every now and then clock sets itself to a different time. It's, that's the thing about these Kenworths. They got these little weird quirks or idiosyncrasy or gremlins, whatever you want to call them. I'm do a quick light test here. in but uh, one moment so just want to say hi and it's been a while and it's been very sweet to those of you who've been asking where's Tanya I've just had a lot going on so but here I am and we're rolling let's uh, turn the camera around again
stopped raining, that's nice. But I think it's supposed to rain on and off all day. Okay, here's the building with the shop. Upstairs are the offices, and downstairs is a very small driver's lounge, but you know, enough to meet the needs. do we have? How many temperatures do you like to keep? This is my water supply basically for a day. Mm -hmm. These three thermoses. And uh, I fill them up at the truck stops or wherever I can get hot water. Alright, coming in? Yeah. Glad to be on the road again. I got Tanya here with me. Got my honey back in the truck Yay. for a little bit anyway. <laughs> and uh, so we're uh, heading out again after getting some service done on the truck on a short little shag run. Yep. And uh, here we go. And we're going to take you along, but in the next video. So for this one, if you liked it, hey, what should they do? <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Put your comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. Whoa. <laughs> and we'll see you down the road. <laughs> with love from. Kevin and Tanya. Oh, and by the way, those of you who have been putting in the comments that you missed me, I really appreciate that. And I have just been very busy with a lot of off truck things. So sorry that I've been uh, absent, but let's have some fun together today. Ready? Off we go. Ocala, here we come. Right. 